after the Vuelta last year. It came up to be a nice plan to, to try to get a victory in each Grand Tour. And then if it was possible within 12 months, it would be nice, of course. Pedersen has struck out here. He struck gold as well. It's going to be Pedersen, oh, king of the day. It's just a nice thing to to be able to say that, but I, I just want to look at my Palmeiras when, when my career is over and then have a stage win in, in each Grand Tour. That would be something special. Today it's really important, boys. I know I can win this final. No one is better than me on a final like this. So if you deliver me perfect and you do your job 100%, I promise you a win. Before the Giro started, Pilarsen and I made a bit with not shaving his moustache until he won a stage in Italy. My side of the bid was to shave a limb for every stage win. Good job, man. I would say around eight, eight stages should, should be possible. If I have the same climbing legs as I had in, in the Vuelta, I think Sunday and Monday would be the first two really big options. And then don't ask me about the rest because I have, we have the numbers, but I, I can't tell you if it's stage 10 or 15. It's Milan through the centre. There's Groves on the left hand side. Decker's hitting the front as well, but Milan's keeping it. Milan's going all the way. And Jonathan Milan is the winner of stage two for Bahrain victorious. The big name sprinters in the world were going at it. Most of all, I'm really happy that everybody is still in the bus because it was nasty and a really dangerous crash. And I hope Dan uh, will be okay for the rest of the Giro. But of course, it was a reward for the work we did. But today we do the same and we will get double the reward. It's time to go, but you have to go at the right time. It's Michael Matthews staying at the front. Michael Matthews has it! I just know that I'm, I'm good in sprinting and I, I improved the sprints yeah, the past years. Before I could sprint from a small group and now I can also bunch sprints. So maybe we can say I'm, I'm getting closer and closer to be a, a sprinter. It's now Mars Peterson who has ticked off the boxes at all of the Grand Tours. Also happy to shave your moustache later? I start to like it actually. <laughs> Maybe I keep it, we will see tomorrow. Mars Peterson finally got his Giro d'Italia stage win and he kept his word, I had no choice. It was really, it was important to, to make up the points I, I lost yesterday so it was, in general, a good day, and I just heard Tom, Tom's finish second, so, yeah, it was, it was a decent day. It was nice to find the climbing legs as well, so that was good. The Maya Ciclamino is, is on, the game for it. Uh, it, was, it was never gone. Stephen, we've just received the news that Mads Pedersen won't take to the start this morning due to illness. It's a big blow for the team. Yeah, it is. Uh, Mats was one of our main guys here and we want to take the Ciclamino with him, but yeah, he's coughing too much and uh, his nose is completely blocked and there's more goals this season and with the weather coming up, you also don't push through and hope for a better day because it just looks bad for the next days as well. I'm proud of you boys, I'm proud of the work you did and I'm thankful for, for all your work.